puck kept in by St. Joe's, and now it's knocked away in a break for Bearsdorfer. Williams coming back, Bearsdorfer ahead, can't get the shot on goal, but Williams will go off, and will it be a penalty shot? Yes, team? it will. Ed Holmes is calling a penalty shot. A penalty shot taken as Bearsdorfer was ahead of the field, and Williams tripped him up. Here's a replay. Watch Bearsdorfer with no one to beat but the goaltender is taken down from behind. Bill Everly did the only thing he could, which was to take out the skates of Eric Bearsdorfer. And now, probably one of the most exciting opportunities in ice hockey, the one-on-one -on -one situation, the shooter and the goaltender. Indeed, among the most exciting sports moments, not just in hockey, but in sports, as the entire ice is cleared, it's shooter against netminder. Right now, Bruce Parker is talking to his team. I imagine it'll be Bearsdorfer who will take it. But also surrounding Parker are Di Geronimo, Ross, Felber. We'll take a look at the penalty one more time. It does look like it'll be Bearsdorfer coming out. Here you see it. Bearsdorfer going in all alone. And unfortunately, Phil Everly had no other choice. Diving, swinging his stick, took the skates right out from underneath him. And that's why we'll have the penalty shot. There is no rebound on a penalty shot. The skater must go directly in. He gets one attempt at the goaltender. Once the puck is either stopped across the goal line, the shot has ended. Here we go. And a big save by Pearson. Bearsdorfer came right in. Pearson held his crown, went down, and made the pad save. Red Pearson played that beautifully. He came out slowly, challenged the shooter, Here's the look. Right there, Bearsdorfer coming over with confidence. Now he makes his move. He's trying to pick a hole. Looked like he was trying to go between the legs. Brad Pearson, the senior goaltender, was able to close him up just in time and deny Eric Bearsdorfer a goal.